Idaho is here finally. Let's go and check it out. Hey guys, Clumsy here and here we are. We've been waiting for this the entire week. Thank you SCS for providing a copy for me so I can test this and I can show this to you guys. Uh. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> a day or two in advance. Here is the map. Here is Idaho. I'm sure that's the number one thing, the first thing anyone would be asking for. And uh, let me try and zoom in. You can rewind, pause or something. I'm sure some of you have seen this already from other YouTubers. But for today, we're actually going on a different route. Instead of focusing inside Idaho, which is the normal thing that I guess most of the people will do, I wanted to check how Idaho is like in the most practical sense in that it is, I think, the most beneficial state there for passing through from one state to the other. Like from where we are now in Logan here and making our way to Washington. Actually, this time it's up to Oregon only. The best way through that is Idaho. But before Idaho was released, you had to go through Nevada like this. And it is a bit more impractical. And the roads, my goodness, the roads are pretty horrendous. I'll tell more about that in a bit. But for now, let's go and enjoy the journey. And let's go and try to do a bit of sightseeing as well, maybe. Maybe we can do it like that. Yes. And we can also maybe go around like this. <laughs> Not sure if it's going to. It's probably going to take a long time. And if time will not allow, then we will always, we can always cut it a bit and focus on the meaty parts, right? Anyway, all right, let's do this. As always, when I feature a new DLC ahead of the original scheduled release, which is 16th of July, I have no mods enabled. So this is a mod-free profile. Everything you see is based on the default SCS. <clears throat> I think the only things I have right now are the force feedback plugin, which is not a mod per se, and the NVIDIA profile inspector tweaks for better anti-aliasing. Aside from that, if you look under the, this profile and the mods, it is blank and will always be for this profile. As you can hear, the engine sound is a bit on the default SCS level. What the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> Somebody's too excited with Idaho. Where the heck is he going? Oh, that's new. That was interesting. We aren't even in Idaho yet. Okay. But we should be passing through it soon. I think this area right here, I compared it with the previous map of what I showed. I think this part already existed, but I'm not sure if it was this is how it looked exactly. I guess it got cut off somewhere here in the north. Something along those lines. We'll see. We'll see shortly. And I'll try to be very, uh, do you say, conscious of the roads and what we see. I'll try to point it out. Let me know in the comments if you agree. If you don't, if I missed something, let me know as well. But I'll do my very best. I actually did a drive, a very long drive, before this recording. I was driving offline to get some practice, to get some perspective. So I was driving on the old areas, actually. So I, this will be my first time driving through Idaho. We'll be driving through it together for the first time. So I can really, like, uh, give you my uh, authentic reaction in my honest uh, feedback you know comparing it with the roads that I have gone through now before we cross over to Idaho itself maybe I can share a bit of that so as I mentioned a while ago I did a drive from Utah from Logan no actually somewhere in Utah I made my way to Washington 
with Idaho, I could have passed through the roads of Idaho, made it a shorter drive, but I simulated as if Idaho wasn't there. So I had to pass through Nevada, I think that's I-84 West, and go north past Winnemucca, and then pass through Ontario and Oregon, somewhere along those lines. And I definitely saw the aging. We almost stepped over then. Yes. <laughs> I definitely, clumsy trucking at its finest, I definitely saw the aging then of the older roads, especially that Nevada road at I-84 West that is looked super old compared to the other ones that I've driven through. And yes, it highlighted my original opinion that my favorite state so far is Washington. And I think followed closely by Utah, and then Oregon. I think those are my top three. Now with Idaho coming into the scene, we'll see if that changes, but hang on tight. But yeah, the, the, the reason why I decided to do this instead of looking for a destination in Idaho itself is most of the jobs practically will be passing through Idaho. There are not a lot of industries in here. There's not even a new industry that was implemented in Idaho. If you haven't watched it, I highly suggest you do. The previous video we had for ATS called um, Setting Expectations for Idaho. I think that's going to come in handy. But the short of it is Idaho is uh, does not, it does not have a lot of roads in there. It's not the most... Um, that's the biggest state. It doesn't have too many roads, especially not for trucking. So mostly, truckers use it as a pass-through state. Yeah, so I, I wanted to simulate that as much as possible and see the effect of how Idaho would um, fit into the picture of the map now that it's there. And I think it's perfect for driving through. It gets rid more of that originally L-shaped map that we had when we started with California and Nevada. And when we started getting Oregon, New Mexico, Washington, that all contributed to an L-shaped west coast, so to speak, of the state of the, US, of the U.S. And now with the states more to the east, starting to fill in one by one with Idaho, with Utah, and soon with Colorado, then it's starting to take shape and you start to get more options, more practical options instead of following that impractical L-shaped thing of the continent, you have a chance of really choosing your route and simulating how real-life truckers pass through these roads when going from one state to the other. You don't have to work around a, a fake route anymore, at least not as much. So yes, really looking forward to crossing over to Idaho and here we are just in time so from here on out it's going to be sightseeing with clumsy here we go so we're trying to read through all the signs Vietnam Veterans Memorial Highway if anyone has more info on that as always let me know in the comments I always love it when you guys let me know about these very interesting trivia truck stop very nice we have more trucks now since 1.38 got officially released they added trucks in the truck stops makes it more how do you say lived in doesn't look like you are in a wasteland i think they increased also the traffic density but the ai is still pretty horrendous at times but i guess arguably you can say it mimics real life drivers as well <laughs> so <laughs> there is an argument for it so far i'm liking what i'm seeing it is pretty barren not my favorite biome but given that it is a barren landscape they're really doing their best to make it as lively as possible here they have all these bushes the fences the signs they are combining harmoniously so far and I like the variety of the roads. It doesn't 
you know it's not just like a flat straight road it goes up and down winds left and right but how is the quality of signs that's one thing i want to check as well one thing i realized as i was driving through the old roads is i think i am the best i don't always say that i am the best guy when it comes to testing how idiot proof a road is <laughs> to tell you honestly in my offline drive a while ago as i was passing through nevada oregon washington the old roads i had to load my profile i think two or three times because i was tipping over especially in nevada especially in that old i-84 road because there were no signs it was just like an 80 mile speed limit thing all throughout and uh, it's up to you to stop and slow down no warning signals or whatnot and so i think it i am very good at that if test for, if, for testing if a road is idiot proof or not because uh, if without the signs i will really tip over and i actually did in those old roads and then i, I noticed the differences the improvements you know from nevada to oregon the signs started appearing to washington most of the signs are full most of the speed limit changes and the warnings the orange signs are there and in utah so the scs has really been stepping it up bit by bit and it's so nice to see the evolution but as a result i really want to stay away from nevada at least in that old road because my goodness the age really shows here we just saw that uh, 55 mile warning speed limit not really a speed limit per se but uh, it warns you that maybe it's best you approach this bend at 55 miles even though technically the speed limit is 70 that's what i learned from you guys so the orange signs are more of a guide the white signs are really the actual speed limit but as a humongous truck with very unstable physics set up it would be best to photo op it would be best to <laughs> sorry to follow those orange warning signs i love idaho nice signage is there local fresh tasty tidbit it's an ad for tidbit apparently very interesting so it looks like the general speed limit for the are we in an interstate though not yet i think we are in a federal road uh us 30 you guys familiar with this road it looks like we'll be crossing over to an interstate soon or maybe it's one of those combined roads the us road system is very confusing to me so i will need all the help i can get yeah now we we're in i-84 maybe we have been ever since twin falls what i heard is that the one of the best roads in idaho dlc is the oh what is the name of the city the town uh salmon i hope i got it right the road going to salmon the one on the north now we don't have any warning signs here for speed that can prove deadly to me thankfully i slowed down a bit of common sense kicked in for a change i'm guessing there should have been an orange sign there normally yeah i'm very sensitive to these uh, speed limit changes they really are a lifesaver in my case because common sense is not so common um how's it going these traffic lights are actually pretty interesting looking they have the cctv things on the top of the poles i don't think that's something i've noticed before at least not in other states that might be a new asset that they modeled in nice attention to detail right there now let's try to explore a bit of the city is this twin falls we're entering looks like it i like it signage is on the i'm mean, entering state roads interstate 84 east to the left it's 93 south 
straight ahead. Where are we? <laughs> ah, yes, this is the detour. Yes, yes, yes. Because there is a new feature. First came out with this DLC. You might notice that purple icon coming up ahead. You might have seen that in other videos and maybe I think even SES showcased that. But what's one of those cool ones, now if you go through those, make sure that your options here, show cutscenes, should be ticked. I think that's a requirement. Because we will be in for a treat. Little bit of a drone footage showcase of how the place looks. And I, I really like I really like that feature. I'm happy to see that getting scattered all across the map, especially with points of interest. And I think it's a win-win. Because normally when we drive through these roads, it's not it's it's very it's very we're very busy, you know, we're very busy focusing on the road, making sure that the AI doesn't crash into us or us crash into AI. And so we tend to not notice notice the small things. So it's good that they thought of this. This one in particular. When you see an icon like that, oh, beautiful. Let's go through here. Stop, turn off your engine, and activate the viewpoint. Okay, there we go. Perrin Memorial Bridge. Does that ring a bell for you guys? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's worth it. And just like that, oh yeah, exactly. Normally, you wouldn't even see a site like this. Some people, uh, what do you call that? Paragliding right there. Some falls, even comes with the sounds. Water flowing through. Even the parking lot and the signages in there are showcased. Absolutely loving it. Oh yes, I, I, I hope they continue this trend. This is a very smart move, adding this kind of cutscene so that we can appreciate more. And really just stop, take some pictures, press F12. Which interestingly enough, I haven't done even once. Let's do it just once here. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay, looks good. Oh, it's not yet done. Is it just going to repeat or uh, do I have to press something? No, I think it should end by itself. Absolutely amazing. That is going to be the thumbnail right there. Well, I'm going to go through the bridge and that's going to be the thumbnail for show. Okay, it does end by itself. Nice. That was worth it already. So I'll be honest with you, I'm not very familiar with other details of Idaho. Um, for me, it's just a must-have DLC, you know? because how it fills the map that's sorely needed in ATS so each additional state I just it's just a buy on my books and I guess given SES's track record the prices are pretty reasonable especially comparing with how many hours you will be staying here in these roads versus the, the, the price at what you pay don't quote me on this, but I think it's around 12 USD. Let me know how it looks, how it uh, fares in your countries. I'll be waiting for your comments, guys. And looks like I like Idaho already because it looks like the city limit speeds are 35. Not like Arizona where you're limited to 25 miles per hour. And the event right there, oof, looks painful. Looks like this place is a lot more filled out. Notice any familiar sights, guys? Not sure if this is based on real life or something that is the product of the creative juices of the guys behind in SES. Twin Falls, is it? Looks like it. There's another Falls City, <laughs> like literal Falls. Idaho Falls and Twin Falls. 
yeah we'll have to explore that and yes if you want to so right now we're doing a more of a pass through kind of thing but we'll spend more time here sightseeing on the stream this friday so the usual timing for my stream if you want to explore more of idaho with me and by then i should have access to mods because by then the the dlc should have been fully released so i can get access to all the my favorite mods already you guys know i am a mod fanatic at heart <laughs> so <laughs> all the mods will be coming back soon but for now we stick with vanilla and try to explore and appreciate the pure experience from SES. is that new great car dealer nice touch not actually a company you can go to looks like but it's a nice effect right there what's happening with my engine the engine brake sound is bugging out yeah that's very nice too bad you can't pick up anything from there would be nice to pick up a trailer or two but doesn't seem like it's even on the map what's on the map is this home depot kind of thing home store my bad that one you can get something yeah there's a pickup point there but this one Drake's isn't that in and out burger that sign I'm sure that's in and out but I'm not sure if that's in Idaho in real life <clears throat> so you guys let me know I think I saw that in oh where was it LA California for sure I think it's where I tasted that before years years past I think I'm on the wrong lane no actually not this is a very interesting sign right and even more right turn <laughs> oh yeah that makes sense actually now I guess the question is can I turn right on red here I guess I can only turn right on red on the most right part huh? on that one but in this one not so good thing I waited for it and how should my signal be if I'm going to do a semi right turn? Interesting road network. Unorthodox, but uh, it's a nice change of pace. And uh, okay, it looks like I take it back. It's also 25 miles per hour. Looks like some bit of music in there. Oh, yeah. First Christian church. Is that like a real church? Why does the sound. The sounds are more like club sounds <laughs> maybe it's modern take <clears throat> modern worship songs why not nice touch i just hope i don't get the youtube copyright from that we will see soon if i do i will complain to ses <laughs> nah thank you ses for giving me this opportunity once again I may not be part of the first wave of people who got it, not part of the cool kids club or coolest kids club, but still a day or two early. That's great. And I like this. So many things happening. Now this feels like a city, huh? Lots of people walking around. You have the different signs, different uh, litter everywhere. Some guy just throwing boxes being too happy about things interesting it's very animated I like it yeah, you can see all the people walking around I actually don't see that often in SES cities I think it, they tried to avoid that before because of performance reasons but thankfully now they're not too shy from it because that is definitely uh, an essential thing if you want to simulate a city a well-lived-in city and I remember seeing that a lot in like map mods like cross map you know all those people just hanging out cars parked on the side of the road and it's nice to see that actually getting into the default map now and uh, being done exceptionally well the attention to detail that they put in these places astounding now I'm, I'm as an outsider I guess 
it, this is all coming from an outsider point of view. I have no real life um, place to compare it with. Like, I've never been here in real life. But from an outsider, seeing all these objects form into one, as I like to say, cohesive landscape. I really like it. Oh, and this looks like one of those farming specific things. They, they featured this in the SES blog. And I went here because there is a photo opportunity there. Let's go there. You might actually get a chance to load up on some grain right next to a combine like in farm sim. Oh, there's one there. Look at that. So we might not be able to do it ourselves, but at least we'll be able to see some guys doing it. And ignore the engine sounds. <laughs> Default engine sounds are uh, work in progress, let's say. So there's also someone flying low there. Probably spraying stuff. There we go. There we have it. Twin Falls Potato Farm. That is so cool. I wish you could do it yourself, but I guess that's a different game altogether, huh? Yeah, look at those trucks with their trailers all getting loaded up. All those uh, belts, those all look so familiar. That looks like Jack's uh, setup in our previous farm. Yeah, with all these belts combining to each other. Looks like a science experiment. Wow, a full-blown farming industry. And yeah, they said uh, a couple of people were complaining that there's no new industry. There might be no new industry itself, but the implementation of the existing industries. This is a very smart move. Props to SCS for thinking of that. Because normally you would have access to the farm. You would be able to take a job from it, but you wouldn't really be able to experience the happenings. But that simple flyby view gives you a very nice peek into things. It's a very nice change of pace, you know? More than just the trucking, it's getting immersed in the world. Getting immersed inside the life in Idaho. And even though you can't take part personally in these uh, farming events, you you can do the next best thing. You can observe fly a drone through them. I like that. This one. Very nice. I did say we were only going to pass through Idaho, but I guess my definition of passing through always has a bit of sightseeing in it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I did say we were going through the practical route, but uh, now that I realize it, not so practical, huh? But hopefully you guys would still find it fun. Because I surely do. <laughs> My goodness, this is the reason why I try and uh, not view anything. And I know some of you guys aren't watching. And if you're not watching, then you probably are, haven't reached this point or anyway. But definitely understand some of you guys would prefer to see the DLC for yourselves. And I have nothing against that. So no worries if you can't watch. Don't be sorry. Some people I know apologize. They cannot watch my videos because they're trying to really wait for the DLC and see it for themselves first. No problem. But if you're the type who doesn't mind, then hope you enjoy this video. My goodness. Yeah, so I, I think I will have to rethink my top three states now. Washington still... Yeah, it's hard to beat Washington. But with the things we've seen now not sure. I think I'll have to rethink the entire ranking. You will see soon enough. Goodness, it's almost been 30 minutes. I told myself I didn't want to make this a super long episode, but I think that's going to be very hard to resist exploring through here. <laughs> we all know what drink that is. Nice touch though dream drink <clears throat> Mindoka Avenue it's nice to see that we have actual street names as well in this place nice to see that that has been 
continuously implemented. I think we started seeing that in Arizona thanks to the infamous, infamous should we say? The legendary Nat Vander who has become part of SES and he started showing his skills to us in the, oh what was the name of his mod before? The, the ATS re-signing project back when he wasn't an employee yet and somehow SES employed him I think he is still based in Australia, but he is now part of SES, which is amazing. I hope they do that more, you know. Not be afraid to import talent from outside, as long as the skills are there. Snat Vander is a perfect example of that. He's been adding signs. He started adding signages to Arizona. That's why if you drive through there now, in this map, man, the signage is almost complete I would say well I'm not the best gauge of accuracy but basing on the locals looks like there's a fireman getting interviewed and he is pretty dynamic in there pretty action-packed scene he's describing it looks like but yeah rumor is Nat Vander also had a hand in Idaho that's why the signage is looking like pretty spot on Mac dealer. Nice. Wonder if we'll see a Western Star dealer or a Freightliner dealer. I know there have been rumors. Not sure if anything's been confirmed. No, I don't think anything's been confirmed yet. Oh, red light. No. Urgh, dang it. I was looking for the cop car so we can notice how the design is. So I did that by intention. <laughs> oh, there's no excuse for it. Yeah, like this one. See? Just the simple fact of having parked cars all across. People discussing, playing basketball and everything. Just makes the entire place look more alive and real. Cars parked in uh, how do you say slightly ajar you know, not perfectly parked all those little details add up give you that very realistic looking scenery like even the garbage right like those uh, garbage stuff you see it filled to the brim and having some bags on the sides there like normally you wouldn't even give that a second thought but i can imagine the mapper the map maker responsible for this area really putting each and every object under scrutiny seeing if it fits and it definitely does my goodness I love this this is amazing now if it looks properly American if it looks properly Twin Falls I would have no gauge on that but based on just what I'm seeing and the scene I'm looking at it looks so real life so anything that is more local uh, more local uh, evaluation I leave that to you guys so you let me know in the comments okay I'd be happy to hear it what building is that it looks like a church might be Let's have a look, we'll get closer to it. Not so sure. There was a sign there, but uh, there's even a carriage. In. It is a church. Yeah, it is a church. <clears throat> Very interesting architecture for that church, a bit like. Reminded me a bit of that building in Poland from the yeah, in Warsaw. If you guys know what I'm talking about, this very blocky thing. I think it's from the Soviet Union days. I'm not so sure. Something to that effect. That's the thing it reminded me of. Okay, I think it's time to go. We've explored too long. I told you it's going to be a pass-through thing. Nice. And I will try to make 
more videos for you guys maybe tomorrow as well exploring a different part of it of uh, the state so if you have requests on which area to check out which particular um, point you want me to focus on like I don't know the weather the traffic lights the uh, signages the the trucks or whatever let me know in the comments and I'll try to take note of them and I'll try to incorporate them for the next video but yeah this one is definitely quickly getting to the top of my list yeah but people have been complaining with what they've seen so far because people look at the map and they say ah, that's small but when you look into that kind of road my goodness Let's take a photo there later oh, look at that that's one of the best sceneries I've seen in the game bar none my goodness even how the river flows it just looks so natural amazing job they did there okay let's get back on the road I had so much fun in Twin Falls <clears throat> only thing that we ha weren't able to do is eat whenever I travel whenever me and Mrs. Clumsy travel food is at the top of the list so they should implement that soon you can go down your truck and eat <laughs> Maybe that's getting too far away from trucking, but I'm sure, yeah, I remember someone actually, some people actually request for that because, you know, we all want immersion and playing a simulator, you really want to get as much of real life in there as much as possible. Thanks. Balloons. Me and balloons in ATS don't mix. And if you don't get the reference, I think... I can suggest looking for my first ever ATS episode. I think that's ATS Season 1, Episode 1. First few seconds, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that will be for the old timers. Or for those who have taken the effort to check out those prehistoric videos. I don't even want to check them out anymore. I think I will cringe if I see them. But glad to see that you guys are still enjoying them nonetheless. Anyway, hope you're enjoying the view so far. I surely am. Uh, where are we going next? How far off do we have to go? 258 miles. Okay, that's no problem. But that will probably be another 30 minutes. So this will be a very long video, guys. That might actually be bad for the... Hmm, we might have to cut it. Now I think... Okay, let's do this. Let's do it this way. I will cut it here. But what we'll do is we'll stop here at the, re the rest stop. I think there's one coming up here on the right. Is that what is, that's what I think it is. And then we'll continue tomorrow. Driving through the rest of the way. So I don't take too much of your time. Because uh, I've seen yeah, long episodes are not very favorable for people. So let's go and do it this way. Now I will be recording right after this one, so I won't be able to incorporate the comments just yet. But I'll try to do that in the stream instead, okay? So make sure, watch the stream Friday, 8 a.m. Singapore time. 8 a.m. SGT, UTC plus 8. That's 8 p.m. Thursday, Eastern time for the US. I'll leave, I'll leave you to translate time zones for the rest of the states. Right, but let's leave it there for now. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, semi-quick tour. We still have plenty to go. I love it. All right. And I'll probably not finish through the entire thing because this part here is not Idaho anymore. Anyway, let's continue next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy trucking guys, and I'm looking forward to your comments. Have a good day, and bye-bye.